Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, the king and queen were blessed with a beautiful baby girl. And throughout the land, everyone was happy. Until the sun went down, and they saw that their daughter was cursed with a frightful enchantment that took hold each and every night. Desperate, they sought the help of a fairy godmother who had them lock the young princess away in a tower, there to await the kiss of the handsome Prince Charming. It was he who would chance the perilous journey through blistering cold and scorching desert, traveling for many days and nights, risking life and limb to reach the Dragon's Keep. For he was the bravest and most handsome in all the land. And it was destiny that his kiss would break the dreaded curse. He alone would climb to the highest room of the tallest tower to enter the princess's chambers, cross the room to her sleeping silhouette, pull back the gossamer curtains to find her. <gasps> what? Princess Fiona? No! Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> Where is she? She's on her honeymoon. Honeymoon? With who? So she said, what's the problem, baby? What's the problem? I don't know. Maybe I'm in love I think about it every time I think about it Can't stop thinking about it How much longer will it take to cure this? Just to cure it cause I can't ignore it This love, love makes me wanna turn around and face me But I don't know nothing about love oh, Come on, come on, turn around a little faster Come on, come on, the world will follow after Come on, come on, because everybody's out Good to be home. <laughs> wow. it's you and me and two can be as bad as one. Okay. Trick Fiona, we're on you to a cipher so I give us a hug, Trick, you old love machine. <laughs> and look at you, Mrs. Trick. How about a side of sugar for the Steve? Donkey, what are you doing here? I was just taking care of your love nest for you. Oh, you mean like sorting the mail and watering the plants? Yeah, 
man feeding the fish. I don't have any fish. You do now. I call that one Shrek and the other film. That Shrek is a rascal. Oh, will you look at the time? Well, I guess you better be going. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you want to tell me all about the trick? Or how about a game of Parcheesi? <laughs> Actually, Donkey, shouldn't you be getting home to Dragon? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know. She's been all moody and stuff lately. So I thought I'd move back in with you guys. Well, you know, we're always happy to see you, Donkey. But Fiona and I are married now. We need a little time, you know, to be together. Just with each other. Alone. Say no more, say no more, you don't have to worry about a thing. I will always be here to make sure nobody bothers. Donkey. Yes, Rumi? You're bothering me. Oh, okay, all right, cool. I guess, uh, me and Pinocchio was just gonna try to catch a tournament anyway, so, uh, maybe I'll see y'all Sunday for barbecue or something. He'll be fine. Now, where were we? Oh, <laughs> I think I remember. Donkey! Ah! I know, I know, alone! I'm going! I'm going! Hey, but what do you want me to tell these other guys? Enough, Reggie. <clears throat> Dearest Princess Fiona, you are hereby summoned to the kingdom of far, far away for a royal ball in celebration of your marriage, at which time the king will bestow his royal blessing upon you and your, uh, uh Prince Charming. Love, the king and queen of far, far away, a.k.a. Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad? Prince Charming? Royal Ball? Can I come? We're not going. What? I mean, don't you think they might be a bit shocked to see you like this? Well, they might be a bit surprised. <laughs> but they're my parents, Shrek. They love me. And don't worry, they're gonna love you too. Yeah, right. Somehow I don't think I'll be welcome at the country club. Will you stop it? They're not like that. Then how do you explain Sergeant Pompous and the Fancy Pants Club Band? Come on! You could at least give them a chance. Oh, to do what? Sharpen their pitchforks? No! They just want to give you their blessing. Oh, great. Now I need their blessing? Well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. And who says I want to be part of this family? Uh, you did? When you married me? Well, there's some fine print for you. Oh, so, so that's it. You won't come. Trust me, it's a bad idea. We are not going, and that's final. <laughs>